And so it begins. Hello, hello, welcome to Feedback Friday. It is art edition. I'm your host, Jacob. We're going to be making art today. Uh, hope you're all doing well. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Hello, Arctic. Hello, Bean the Potato. Blink, welcome. Welcome, Blink. Uh, Resmador Clay, hello, everybody in the chat. Welcome to the stream. We're doing art today, and uh, if you were around the last art stream, you'll be familiar with what, what I'm going to be continuing on today. Um, so just to get people caught up, um, two weeks ago when I streamed, we were working on a new non-player character to enter Millicent. Hello. Oh my god, a dev. Hi. <laughs> How's it going, Blank? Hello. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're doing uh, a new character. It's not a mouse. It's a humanoid. Um, and so the last stream, we were trying to create a character that would be a royal missive. So uh, showing up with basically the news from the kingdom um, showing up and kind of like delivering a, uh, a king's reward challenge for you. Um, and so we came up with quite a few characters. Uh, and I'll show what we had last week. I've, I've done a little bit of adding to the cast of characters. Um, I don't think we, I've created new ones, but I've kind of developed them a little bit further. And I actually created a little kind of like blurb to give some personality to any of them. Um, so let's let's just enjoy the cast that we kind of came up with together. Um, so I came up with just kind of like placeholder names, placeholder kind of like, you know, snippets to kind of give them a character so you have an idea of who they are. Um, so we got like Paige, who's very kind of just running around like kind of, you know, falling behind, let's say, and just like a bit scattered. Uh, it's a fun character, but I felt like we could kind of like do something a little more um, interesting. Uh, and ultimately, like out of this cast, um, we kind of have a direction we're going in. We'll, we'll see what that is soon. Um, this one was just kind of like a bot hunter, basically the bulwark of the bots, but uh, didn't end up going for that, but a fun kind of like just intense idea. Um, a lot of these kind of like are enhanced by their kind of snippet, which I think is fun, uh, especially this this was the one that I kind of came up with the idea of like giving a catchphrase or something um, or a title, because when I was kind of laying these out to show the team, um, I was just like, oh, you know, I'm going to need them to be able to point out at like what character they like. So it could have been like A, B, C for like each of them so that people could be like, ooh, I really like how F looks and uh, C is my favorite or, or something like that. Um, but I wanted to like give a little more of an idea of kind of like how I see these characters without fully rendering them. Um, so this one's just a fun pun with hair old. Uh, and then when I came up with the gossip, I was just like, well, they all need to have some kind of catchphrase now. Um, just because, I don't know, I, I love that. But um, I feel like we already have too many old, very hairy men in the game. Um, so as wonderful as hair old is, uh, did not make the cut. Although maybe I'll keep them in the back pocket for future ideas. Um, and we have a little messenger, uh, <laughs> the bot that doesn't want to be replaced by other bots. Uh, we didn't end up going kind of in the direction of the animal, um, like a dog or a pigeon, although very cute, just kind of felt like it didn't fit for the, what the character was supposed to be doing. Um, hmm. <laughs> With all these uh, characters flesh shows, there are going to be some books slash novel based on mouse hunt lore out soon. Definitely not soon. Um, and I don't think we're working on any kind of like 
uh, large literature, uh, although I am still kind of puttering behind the scenes on some Plank Run updates and um, so there should be more kind of like fleshing out of the world and, and kind of its history and stuff. So uh, don't know when that'll be though. It's kind of a slow process. Um, and we have a series of Charlie. Uh, so we kind of, <clears throat> we started with like this version of Charlie um, and kind of decided because my cat was walking across the screen and keyboard and stuff uh, to try and make like a cat mage just because we wanted to like up the whimsy um, and so just kind of trying some different things like teleporting around to like give you the king's rewards I like Charlie a lot um, didn't end up kind of like being the top pick but I think Charlie might become a character at some point uh, in the future so we'll see um, there is, like, admittedly, not for, like, you know, the, the next, you know, uh, really short-term development of the, the project, um, but there is definitely a lot of room to kind of add new characters. Um, uh, one idea could be having shopkeepers and stuff like that um, when we're doing upgrades to the interface. Uh, would be really lovely to have a lot more of that kind of like immersion to it um so like when you go to the cheese shop or trapsmith or something there'd be like a character uh kind of like how mustachio is you know the the creator of the original charms and stuff um i'd like more characters to just be a part of the world but also probably use them in a way that they can be more front-facing and, and just kind of like engage with you uh so i think that just kind of adds to the universe and so there's room for characters um and then we have anitha uh who's just very kind of like just i found you there you are uh very kind of like getting the job done um i like her a lot uh this one's one of my favorites uh Gramflum. um and <laughs> i think we came up with the concept on stream because uh, a, a lot of these kind of like character concepts I, I came up with after the stream was over. Uh, I just wanted to kind of like share it with the team. So I came up with a bunch of just kind of ideas that I thought would suit and add to the, the development. Um, and so this one was very much like a, I think someone requested me to create like a pixie. Um, and I decided that in the Nanian universe, like pixies are just the most chaotic creatures, um, beings of magic that are just kind of like chaos incarnate. Um, and so it's it's kind of like a, a gremlin pixie uh, that somehow found the king and has just been absolutely harassing him. Uh, so the king was just like, well, if you want to like be useful and and like do do your kind of magic thing, how about you do this super important mission for me where you go and you deliver these rewards to all the hunters around. And so that's why uh, you would have King's rewards constantly popping up as Gramble Flynn is just hard at work doing doing things to help the, the king. Um, just big fan. Uh, and just, I mean, how do you not love that face? Uh, what's funny is when I was talking with the team about the characters, uh, Initially, no one really wanted Gramble Flim, um, but then, like, by the end, like, everyone was like, well, he's grown on me now. Like, I really like that character. <laughs> so, we'll see. Um, and then Garlemon, uh, the foodie, um, is a fun character. So, ultimately, we have quite the cast. I think a number of these we could end up kind of like returning to um or not you know like not all of them are the you know greatest fit uh but but some of them i think are a lot of fun and who knows um but i think where we're going is uh we we all really like anita um i think she would be really a character that kind of feels uh the most kind of like 
good for like a news post uh, if we need like a generic header um, having her kind of like here you go um, we're not going to have like the name and and the the little blurb as a part of the kind of like image or anything um, but just kind of like something you know to just kind of help uh, give direction for the character um, and close follow-up runner is Glamplum or Gramplum. Um, and I think that it would be great for like the King's rewards because I just think it's hilarious uh, but not so good for the actual like uh, news post kind of showing up but one idea that I had and I don't know if we're gonna go with it um, I'm going to start with Anitha because we all really like Anitha um, but I kind of want to do both at some point. Um, and it'd be fun if Gramplum was the news, or, or say the, the King's Reward kind of uh, deliver. Um, and then uh, Anitha would be for like news posts. Uh, but one of the things is uh, mobile users don't have the King's Reward show up, right? Um, and so they wouldn't, like they'd get to see Anitha for the news post, but they wouldn't get to see Gramplum. Um, so one concept, and I don't know if we're gonna go in this direction, but it'd be fun if like Gramplum was for just like the the patch notes, the little kind of like, if you go into the news, uh, the kingdom news area, there's like the actual news posts that are like the main kind of stuff for all the players to, to kind of like get caught up on the latest in, you know, what's happening in the kingdom. But then off to the side, there's like the actual like um, bug fixes and and just kind of like dev posts about kind of like, you know, if you're interested in all the behind the scenes, that's where those go. And so it'd be kind of fun if Gramplum was was kind of delivering those things. So then, you know, uh, different platforms could get to see these characters. Um, but even so, like, we're just going to go with Anitha right now. Gramplum, I have other ideas of where Gramplum would show up um so definitely not ruled out um but yeah good fun um but yeah so we're we're going to be developing anitha as a character today um let me make sure i'm not super far behind on the chat <laughs> return after a decade and see the mess has turned into the mice hunting version of runescape slash world of warcraft I mean, it's always kind of like we wanted to tell more kind of story and immerse you as a character in it. Um, but it's a little hard to do with kind of the platform or the, the actual structure of the game, but it'd be fun. <laughs> Larry's not losing his job. He, Larry's all over the place. He's always been traveling with you. Um, he was never the one that delivered the, the King's Reward that just kind of showed up. Um, I know, I know. Well, Charlie will definitely find their 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 place. I I definitely want to have Charlie as one of the characters at some point. Uh, yeah, Gramplum is is like definitely a favorite for a lot of people. Um, high on my list. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, Gramplum looks like Stitch in uh, Lilo and Stitch. I guess there is a little bit of that kind of like the the ears and stuff. I do love Lilo and Stitch. Very good. I might have to channel a bit of that. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Generic potato is a good idea on that. Probably said that before I, I stated it. But yeah, um, Charlie's for the, the updates or patch notes could also be good, yeah. I think I think Charlie might end up, maybe, we'll, we'll, we'll see what ends up happening with that whole section. Um, but if when we get, when, because I really want to push for it, when we get to kind of like creating um, NPC shopkeepers, I think Charlie would be a, a, a fun shopkeeper for one of the the like 
I don't know, maybe the cartographer or, um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what Charlie would kind of like be the, the keeper of, but it would be interesting. All right. Well, so that's what we got going on for this cast here. Um, and yeah, no, it'd be, it'd be like the ultimate kind of like amazing thing if, if like not only did we have kind of shopkeepers and they have like portraits and character to them and like maybe when you show up they have just like a little kind of like snippet of text like you know greeting you or whatever um it'd be it'd be even cooler if there was like region based characters too um so obviously not one for every location or anything like that but for an entire region having like a different keeper uh you know that that'd be that'd be fun um a lot of extra work for the team but something to kind of like hope for um but yeah we'll see um so i brought anitha into her own file um and this is definitely scaled up just so that i can actually get some nice details into this illustration because as i mentioned um i would like it to be used for the actual news post so those are going to like be able to scale it up um and uh you know being able to like put her on like different kind of uh images and stuff we'll need a high res version to be able to do that um so yeah yes uh there is yes there is the the statue of a cat in uh, the town of nani itself it was removed what do you mean it was removed? It's not removed. It should still be there. What do you mean? Now a fountain. What? That's not right. That doesn't sound right. Should not be possible. The actual, like, base illustration yeah it should be the cat statue i don't know how you could possibly be seeing a fountain there's the fountain out front of the town of Nanya, but look into the city yeah still there that's right okay cool I was like, how is that possible? Like, that feasibly is not something that could happen just based on how the the actual map illustration works. <laughs> yeah, I guess you just misremembered it being out front of the actual uh, town itself. That's fair. All right, so I'm not sure the colors and stuff for the character I want to do, but I just kind of, before the stream... Just kind of quickly blocked in uh, sorry. Just pulling up stuff on the side. I don't need that. Max throwing stretches. Where was that? Oh, well. All right. Yeah, um, so I started with purple just for the sake of it being um, a royal color because the idea would be... The idea that it would be for, the, like, the, the king's messenger, right? Um, so I want to have very kind of uh, just royal-feeling kind of attire. Um, and purple and gold are, are kind of like the, the kingdom's kind of 
you know, colors and stuff. So I think that would be nice. I'm just going to turn the sketch down so it's easier to see what's going on. And yeah, basically just really loosely started to block in um, some colors and, you know, uh, we can definitely kind of try all kinds of stuff with this. Um, I have no kind of like set plan for where I'm going uh, with this, but I did just want to try and just kind of loosely block in stuff. And then we're going to jump over to the actual King's Reward kind of uh, sandwich board pop-up and, and see how she looks kind of like place on top of that. Because one of the things I want to do is, so when you have a King's Reward pop-up, you have the, the sandwich board at the top, and I wanted her to kind of like be a part of that. Um, but it'd be cool if like, let's say her elbow was like outside of it, but then the rest of her was inside. Um, and I'll, I'll show you what I mean by that pretty quickly. Um, and then I'll do the actual scrolls. Get more color in that. So again, we're just quickly blocking it in just so that we can kind of get a quick look at how well this works in context. And uh, another thing about it is I perhaps want to change the scroll design a bit. Um, I don't want it to feel too similar to like treasure map scroll case or anything like that, right? Um, so I was thinking maybe it would be kind of more of the like the, the like double rolled version of a scroll, you know? Kind of like what you would see with like, you know, a, a town crier like do that kind of thing, right? So having like two of these kind of rollers um, might be a good way to kind of separate it from like the, the like here's a scroll case, right? Um, that's used for mapping. Um, so that. All right. And then she'll have like a, a satchel, probably have like cool looking, you know, straps and buckles and stuff like that. Who knows? All right. Um, so I'm just going to hide that and get rid of that save it because I set this up as a smart file where we can kind of jump over into kind of like a example of you know what the King's Reward panel might look like. So we're gonna tweak her to kind of like have it be kind of like tucked behind this um, and one way we could do that is uh, by actually like kind of doing a kind of like uh, sliced out here like this. Um, but I might as well just like illustrate her full pose in case we need that for like different images. Um, so what instead I'll probably do, and this might be easier to work with, is create a clipping mask on this and then I can actually like erase away and paint back without losing any of the actual information. There we go. So something like that could be fun. Um, I'll make this sleeve kind of like hang over less. Something like that could be fun. All right. 
Yeah, so we'll, we'll keep going with this. All right, let's see. <laughs> what software is this? This is Clip Studio Pro. Um, <clears throat> it, it allows for kind of like a lot of the same things that Photoshop does. Um, and I prefer it personally. Like there's a lot more kind of like brush control that is really cool. It has really nice animation features. Not that I do much of that, um, but also stuff like the, the way smart files work in this is quite nice. Um, Photoshop can do similar stuff with smart files, but this is, I find a little more uh, useful in that regard. Um, and it's mainly like the brushes. It also lets me record time lapses, which is pretty cool should be neat for this character um, and um, it does have a few things that aren't quite as good at, as Photoshop uh, like the text tools and stuff are not not nearly as good um, but I don't tend to need the text tools too often that's more uh, for creating like uh, marketing stuff um, yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. Like there's some really cool stuff you can do in the brush customization. Um, it's way, way like it goes way deeper than Photoshop's uh, ability to kind of like customize tools. Um, so. Not that I actually need fancy brushes, um, but I just I find that the the controls feel better, uh, so it's a big deal for me. Like anytime I go back to Photoshop, I'm just like, ooh, it's difficult. Um, yeah. So I think okay. So I like the the purple, um, but I want to have like more kind of variation in it. Um, I'm not totally sure what I want to do with kind of like the um, this kind of like so I kind of like it having her having like this almost crown underneath. I'm not totally sure what that's about though. Like I think it's just kind of like to be like yeah, the royal messenger has some kind of kind of I don't know what the word would be uh, royal I don't know why magnate or I don't I don't know what that word would be um, but just kind of has some status symbols like that um, but I don't know. I just kind of like scribbled that in near the end. Uh, I guess I would worry that people would be like, oh, she must be the queen. Um, but I don't think that's the goal here. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it is too confusing to have like some kind of crown type thing. Um, I just thought it looked cool. <laughs> hmm. Does that look like with the sandwich board? I feel like that's going to get lost there anyways. But I would like something. Hmm. Okay, I will come back to that. Yeah. Yeah, I like the actual way you can kind of like set up your tools. Um, also, like a huge deal for me with Clip Studio, so back onto that, is the hotkey system is so much better than Photoshop's. So, like, you, you're so limited with how you can set up your hotkeys in Photoshop. Um, and I don't know, it's, it's a big deal for me. <laughs> Even though I could just use different hotkeys and it'd work fine in Photoshop, like the ones that I figured out with Clip Studio, I'm not allowed to use those for uh, Photoshop and that drives me insane. Um, so, yeah. 
yeah, so today's probably going to be like a fairly chill, just painting a face. Um, I don't, I don't get to paint human faces very often, so uh, this is just kind of like a nice. Should be an interesting challenge, to be honest, because I, I don't do it very often. And like this was this was a really fast scribble of a face, um, you know, uh, at a much smaller resolution. So it's kind of wonky. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to kind of like clean it up, make it look pretty, make her handsome. Um, and just, you know, fit the, the game's kind of aesthetic. Um, so she's not as, like, whimsical looking as the other cast members, uh, or, or, like, of this kind of group, right? Um, but, I don't know, I, I feel like that's going to work. Um, don't know what I want her expression like right now she's kind of got this like a little bit of a, like a, a smirk going maybe um, I'm not sure if I want that but, uh, um, I guess I'll just like, the thing is, is with portraiture, I just kind of got to go for it, and it's going to not work <laughs> for a while until it starts to work. And that's my experience with doing, like, actual human faces. Um, and so I'm admittedly extremely nervous about streaming me painting, uh, like, someone just live, I guess, just because, I don't know, it, a weird, in, like just totally crazy mouse that anatomically is just like impossible and you know just like does not match anything in the real world that's that's not so bad i can i can manage that right because like your brain isn't gonna be like well that's weird and and like doesn't look like how it should because i have a good reference point of of what that should look like. Um, whereas a human, we we tend to we tend to have a pretty good concept of what humans look like. So we're kind of familiar with with uh, with each other. Um, so yeah, a little bit. I'm just kind of like, I hope this goes well. <laughs> uh, but also I'm excited to, to do this because I, I really like kind of adding more kind of humans and characters to the world. Um, so I am quite excited about this potential. of a character design but again like often it's it's gonna be kind of like a lot of pushing and pulling until it works and then it's like yay but be pre prepared for me to futz around with details for quite a while I guess that's kind of going to be the case So 
So the sketch adding just kind of like basically uh, multiplying black pixels onto the image does kind of add a bit of muddiness to it. So it's it's useful to try and hide the sketch layer as early as I can. Um, so now she's looking worried. I wanted her to look worried. She's supposed to be like graceful and confident. That's kind of like the vibe. But yeah, as I said, we're we're just gonna we're not gonna worry too much about how well it's working just yet. I'm just kind of like just go forward. As I said, it's not going to work until it starts to work. Uh, uh, uh. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, you're right, generic potato. How could I make that mistake? The 37th tentacle of the Arc Thulu should have been angled 1.7 degrees more to the left to be anatomically accurate. You're right, and I mean, I didn't do that one. That was, that was Liz, so you can blame Liz. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, exactly. It's just like, it's, it's so easy to get away with kind of like just making things, you know, not uh, perfect. For, for like weird mouse hunt characters, but uh, yeah, our brains are way, way more finely tuned to be like, that looks kind of odd um, for humans. So again, a bit of a kind of like, uh, why am I doing this live? But hey, it's it's me. If, if I'm not like doing something that is like, super ridiculously challenging on stream then I'm I'm kind of like you know not doing the stream how I tend to I guess uh, yeah. for whatever reason I can't help myself I like to just kind of be like what would make this more intense and difficult <laughs> I guess I'll do that for stream, because I'm weird. Yeah, she's definitely looking a little too kind of concerned and and just sad. And so let's see if I can. OK, so she's like, what's the difference with that sketch? The eyes are definitely. Like this eye here feels kind of like it's just like lazy. Um, I think it's actually because the way it's kind of upturned somehow. So if this is more open, and kind of like, looking down. It's a little more alert. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't want worried. I want her to kind of like, just be like, oh, there you are, kind of that kind of vibe. Um, so. More kind of it's always in the eyes. Yeah. <laughs> 
And it's just like, ugh. <laughs> Not it either. Not it either. Yeah. So as I said, there's going to be a lot of just kind of like, we're, we're going to have to just try all kinds of things before we're like, that's the one. That's the expression. Concerned. Let's just like take it to the extreme and just be like, ooh. No. All right. Okay, I think the eyebrows kind of like being upturned as much as they are is actually kind of creating that worry. Um, I do like a good thick brow, though. So much concern in her face. <laughs> she looks kind of scared. Okay, I think the eyelid being so... And again, this is it, right? It's, it's like we, as humans, can read human expression like crazy good. Um, there we go. Okay, so dropping just, just like a, a smidge of tweaking to kind of like just how high the eyelid is, right? Instantly, it's a different expression. Um, so, yeah, this is this is why, like, painting a face live is like, ah, I just don't do this enough. So I don't, I don't have kind of like the instant ability to be like, oh, that's what I need to do. Um, so let's give this a flip, and we can kind of see, like, there's a bit of, like, weird wonkiness to the face, and this is something I probably should have done from the start, um, was just try to kind of see how it looks flipped. Still has a like worried expression. Doing a bit of an auto save there. Oop. Concerned, but still not at all the expression I was going for originally. Um, so there's just this kind of like calmness that I want her to to emanate, um, and 
whack the, the profile just a bit there. <laughs> she did kind of have this expression that she was just witnessing someone barfing on the floor in front of her. Um, hmm. Again, we will get there. It's just gonna be a lot of just kind of back and forth details. So gonna have to be patient on this one, I think. of kind of like the light source that's often you know a factor I really do need to kind of be aware of um, generally what I try to do with the light sources is just if I need to default it I'll kind of like top right I guess for my camera to be this side but um, which would be kind of over her left shoulder so I think that will work um, so should I Grab this as the background color, just so that, yeah. I mean, actually, I have a different color in mind for this. I was going to go for this kind of yellow. So it might be useful to have her in front of, because like I, I'm changing the actual kind of like tonality of the king's reward pop up itself so she'll obviously need to be able to kind of like match that uh, image um, so depending on what colors I go with that that could change um, hmm. okay I'm actually gonna tone it back again it's just kind of intense for for doing this illustration um, all right what I could do is do a little bit of shading on her kind of like cloak. Um, and that might be useful to help me kind of figure out what I want to do with the shadows of things. So just really loosely and I want to put like gold trim all over it I think that'd look pretty uh, and it, it'd probably be useful to like have the scroll case satchel I think we'll go with just kind of like a, a fairly simple leather just to start with. I don't know what that's going to look like in the end, but we'll just use that to begin the process. Okay. Um. Hmm. Yeah. 
<laughs> Can we pay her to stop bringing King's Rewards? Uh, I mean, it's something we're, we're kind of like thinking about what to do. Um, I imagine we'll do some changes to it in the future. But I don't know what those will be, so I'm not even going to speculate on it. Could be some kind of embroidery pattern on it and all that. Um, Yeah, she does look very sad. I don't want that. She looks like she's about to burst into tears. <laughs> I don't want her to be so sad at all. She's supposed to be confident. We'll change that. I think the lips and the eyes uh, and the whole expression and everything. Um, not there. Not there at all. OK. Um, so it, Gave me some kind of. All right, here's like where the light source is kind of hidden stuff, right? So there's a little bit of that to work with. That was kind of what I wanted to get with just exploring that fabric real quick. Um, I think there's a lot to change on that for sure. It's just. There's going to be a lot of jumping around, I think. But yeah, the expression, too sad. OK, let's thin out the top lip. And kind of bring the mouth, like widen it out, because you know, if you are smiling, you're pulling the, uh, the lip out and just kind of raising where I think if I lower the mouth. needs to go forward.
Still like a really concerned look to her face though. Again, it's just like such tiny, tiny tweaks changes so much. It's it's a lot. this eye that I was trying to pull away from fear is looking a little too just upset or concerned. too. Mm -hmm. I mean, that is kind of like one of the ideas for, for like the, the King's reward kind of just like, just always looking exhausted because you're just chasing hunters around like, oh my gosh, stop moving through portals. Like, why did you have to be all the way at the top of Mosu Pichu? feel too low. Man, it's just any, any time, like any small change, it just immediately changes everything. Okay, bring the sketch back. the hood back. I could get more of a smile in there at least. I don't want her to be like, hey, you know, but but like just a, an assuredness in her eyes. Looking like you're about to cry.
Yeah, I think I do need to just... Make it more of a smile or something. That still looks sad. Why do you still look so sad? Yeah, that could be it. Lack of the uh, the eye crinkle. True, true. Actually, because like with smiles, you kind of, you know, I got a lot of wrinkles, so I can definitely show it off. But you know, that that kind of like, it the smiles are in the eyes, um, and that's something that I do know. So I think by like having them low, you kind of have this con concern or like sad. But if you're happy, you kind of do a little more of that so yeah actually I think that is a big part of it is just kind of bringing that up and I, I do want her to feel kind of like more kind of mature um, and up in years so I think giving her some very nice wrinkles could be quite Quite nice. So her eyes are kind of like, so I'm going to pull them in a bit. Can you tell that I don't draw human faces very often? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I want to definitely give her, like, royal insignia for sure. Yeah, yeah, giving her, like, the royal... Uh, shield and stuff like that I think will be pretty pretty good for sure um. I feel like every stream I kind of hit a point where it's like, oh good, it's finally working. Um, and I'm hoping it doesn't take the entire stream to kind of like reach that point, but I am worried that this is just going to be a bad image for very long and then be like, well, day's over. <laughs> still, still not happy with how she looks. I think, okay, if this is lifted higher, I should definitely do more studying of expressions. I feel like that would probably be useful for me. Let's 
seems like good stuff to understand, just saying. I'm just going to change her mouth quite a bit. If you ever want to see me struggle with art, just ask me to draw a human face. And she had kind of the like nice full kind of just like hmm kind of look and I, I think that's maybe more what I want her expression to be is more just kind of like there you are kind of just like you know yeah this isn't this isn't kind of like that look let's bring the sketch back all right There you are, Hunter. Okay. Um, let's try. Yeah. So yeah, I feel like that's a, a lot more who she is, just kind of like, hmm, just... No funny business. But like, not in a, 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 you know, like, annoying and cruel way, just, she just gets stuff done.
kind of has a lot of concern to her look still. Okay, Charlie. Um, her face is very small. I wonder if I should try. I guess the liquify tool could be useful for just kind of trying to reposition stuff. I don't use this tool very often, but. Probably the right tool for making little positional adjustments. And uh, this is another good tool that Clip Studio does better than Photoshop. You can actually just like like liquefy. Um, can I liquefy multiple layers? No, I can't actually. I thought I could. Okay. Well, at any rate, you can you can actually like use this tool in a pretty decent, effective way. Unlike at least how I have figured out how to use it in Photoshop. Though I think maybe it's improved in Photoshop. I'm using an older version just because the newer ones have, for whatever reason, decided to crash my system a lot, uh, and I don't really like that happening. Kind of not useful for getting work done, right? Okay, so now she's, I, I decided to enhance that kind of like eyebrow raise, the, the kind of like, there's a little more of that kind of like quizzical Um, a lot less kind of like concern, more maybe interest, good. Yeah, liquify is pretty good for this. Can actually change expression with it pretty easily, which is pretty cool. I think her eyes being smaller is getting a little wobbly. Okay. That is one of the things about doing too much liquify, you get like whirr. Weird wobbliness, but I can just paint over that pretty easily. Um, kind of think that overall her face probably needs to be lower. TBH. Whoa. Wild. Mm, that didn't. Again, it's like just the smallest tweak can just really change a face so much. It's crazy. Like how different is this compared to the sketch? Probably. Not crazy different, but feels different. That's another thing is um, <clears throat> I find that when I'm like doing expressions and, and stuff like that, um, I tend to have a better version of the expression in a sketch because your brain fills in so much of that detail. Um, and, and when you actually like go to render it, then you're responsible for actually placing that detail. So I. I would say that the days that I'm not at my best, uh, um, like I don't end up 
doing a better job in the render than in the sketch. Um, and so that is definitely a kind of thing that's happening, unfortunately. But again, I think it's a case of like if we kind of keep at it, eventually we'll figure it out. Also, um, cool thing that tends to happen with human skin is we actually have like peach fuzz on all of our skin, basically. Um, and when you have nice lighting, you can use that to your advantage. Um, to kind of like create good definition of having like the light just hit those little tiny hairs everywhere and just kind of light those up and that can just kind of help give shape uh, and so use that here as well yeah just like all over you got just tiny tiny little hairs and they will catch the light if it's just right. Yeah, she's very concerned. Not the vibe I want. Um, I mean, maybe the like, the glasses are a factor of just kind of like being in charge. Um, actually, another thing could be the actual like angle of the face. Like maybe the sketch kind of feels like she's like looking kind of her head tilted forward and looking down a bit. Does that change it? Because like if her head is tilted forward and she's kind of looking up, hmm. I'm just trying to think of like any factors that change what the expression feels like. Yeah, on the shape eyes. Um, yeah, fixing the eye might be a good thing too. Quite right about that. Yeah, I mean, it like the eyes are so important that getting these perfect is kind of required. With mice it's very easy. I just create these like nubs. Um, not a lot to it. So much of it is in the eyes, TBH. spend an entire stream just trying to get eyes to look good. It's like I can illustrate a single eye <clears throat> and and be like, yep, that's an eyeball. Um, but to like give it to a character and convey their soul with it, you know, like that's that's a whole skill in itself, right? Um, and 
So we're just going to make it worse before we make it better is how it goes, I think. Again, she's very concerned now. a bit more. Yeah, I think that is kind of more of the like in charge. Right? A little bit. Still not there. I, I think also it's just like she's not looking at us. That's maybe a part of it too. So we'll leave one eye. We'll let that kind of set where she's looking, and then we'll have the other eye kind of like follow. So we need to move that one in. Feels a little bit more. Ish, like she's looking at us, maybe. Ish. Oh, this is tough. Yeah, cheekbone definition would probably help. I think you're right. Um, I could do that with. See where do I want? And let's get more blush there a little bit. One of the things I, I like to claim is like, oh, well, you know, I'm just working off of the player's suggestion in the chat. So if it turns out to be like a bad image and, you know, a weird idea or whatever, then I'll just blame you guys. Um, but I feel like, you know, I'm the one in control of all the brush strokes here, so can't really blame you guys if I end up creating an uncanny valley human. It's just like, it feels like it's almost a human, but it's even weirder and creepier because it's this a save um, and let's pop it over 
into the sandwich board. Okay, so still some like features that feel kind of smushed in weird ways, like that eye and like the nose. They feel like they're kind of like going into the face, like it doesn't have enough roundness. Um, so I need to tweak that, but she does feel a little more human ish, so that's good. <laughs> We're getting somewhere, maybe. All right, let's flip it back. Um, <clears throat> yeah, like the the actual structure of the face feels a bit broken. Um, so let's try and pull that out a bit more. I think that eye needs to like. Actually, all of the face needs to kind of come forward. I think, um, like with the ear being facing like that, I think, yeah, need to like bring the bridge of the nose forward a lot more. Okay, that does feel perhaps a bit more three-dimensional, because yeah, it was just kind of like the, it, it seemed like the base of the nose was like imploding into the face. That's not ideal. Uh, the eyes are definitely a bit messed up because of the liquify. So let's mess them up a bit more. And then hopefully we can fix them. Keyword. Okay. All right. I'm actually feeling like it's starting to capture a character now. So that's that's getting somewhere. She feels somewhat believable. I think, yeah, the, the glasses will be kind of nice. Uh, yeah, the pupils need to be adjusted again. The liquify threw the eyes off. That does happen with the liquify tool. And again, the eyes are like just the most important thing to get perfect. That is how we understand each other. A lot of the time, it's by looking at each other's eyes when we can bear to. Um, but yeah, this this eye is just kind of. Where are you going, eyeball? Hmm? Kind of. It had a bit of an element of her looking down on us. Not that I want that to be like. Uh, she's just kind of not even considering us, but like, I feel like that gives a bit of kind of just, I don't know. Let's 
strength to it. Maybe not. Wasn't it? Right, you know, I'm just gonna fill in the eyes like this. Creepy, I know. It will help with kind of just getting the shape right. Um, so, actually, you know what? Yeah, I think I think I need to <clears throat> maybe even work on it without the pupil kind of telling so much information. Just kind of figure out everything else before that. That might be a good trick. Because I actually feel like that's a huge part of how we interpret it, is like, what is the iris and the pupil and all that just kind of like telling us. Okay. Um, and again, I do actually want her to feel a bit older. The, the crow's feet isn't a bad thing at all. That might be nice. Having soft features is good too. Uh, but yeah, I don't want her to be like just cartoonishly old and wrinkled or anything like that. Just dignified. skin overall it it's like something that tends to happen for when I'm kind of painting uh, human skin is sometimes I don't get enough kind of like that I guess blood in it uh, that that warmth of kind of like the um, the light kind of scattering through the skin and kind of like creating that warmth um, and I, I feel like I can end up creating almost zombie characters because they just kind of get this washed out, kind of desaturated feel to them. Um, and so I just need to try to counter that a little bit more. But yeah, I also want to kind of capture some of the light coming in. That'd be like more of the like the sky which is going to be a little bit more of this blue which is why I wanted to kind of like push the warmth in the skin first before I add too much of this cool highlight um, just a little more. And I think I'll actually do the iris um, on like a separate layer so that I can just kind of position those just a little bit, you know. sadness in the eyes again. Maybe? I don't know. It does look a little bit. Okay. 
I did warn you that it's just going to be a lot of back and forth on today's stream. <laughs> but hopefully this is interesting. Um, I feel like it's probably going to be engaging for, for people. Just the many strange ways where like a single line can completely change how someone looks. You know. Ears are a whole other just kind of crazy, interesting, but complex shape to deal with. Um, okay. What do we got with the eyes? Let's try a new layer just to see. If we do a clipping mask, we unlink it, and then we just erase anything that's not the eye itself, what we can do is just start to position these eyeballs anywhere we want. Just woo! You know? Because again, it's like so minute how a single kind of pixel off can just change if it if she's looking at us. kind of feels like she is actually looking at us. So that's good. Um, we can even do a layer above. Let's get clever with this. Do a layer above where we actually get like the highlight. Oop. 
Let's see. Okay, and then since that's a separate layer, I can like, you know, move it around, and it still has that kind of eyeballness to it. Okay, so that that definition on the cheek there is a bit too much, perhaps. side. Nah. All right. Right. Um, yeah, I mean, let's address that. Like, I I am not trying to kind of like state any specific ethnicity, but I am trying to create representation for the character, um, and is Nonian kind of like universe so. Not on Earth, but you know, I, I do want to definitely kind of make sure it kind of works for people. So, um, but yeah.
Yeah, I'm not, I'm not trying to kind of like create a specific thing. Um, but yeah, just trying to capture a cool character. No, that is definitely a, a thing that humans do. I agree with that. You're not wrong. Um, I suppose that if I were to kind of suggest where inspiration would be coming from, I guess it'd be kind of like more Hindi, I suppose. Um, but yeah, I'm not well-versed in matters of culture and all that jazz. So it's something I don't want to kind of uh, try to make any uninformed statements on or anything like that, right? Um, Yeah, we really just want to have a, a cool cast of characters is all, so. But yeah, I tend to hope that the audience is um, pretty good at kind of helping me understand things when I'm kind of not aware. So by all means, just kind of Give me some context, I suppose, and try to understand it best. But yeah. Like one thing I was, um, when I first sketched this character, I had kind of like the, the chain from the nose to the ear. Um, and uh, as I, Kind of understand it. I think that's a tradition for like a marriage ceremony thing. So that probably wouldn't be the ideal to kind of like have on the character. Um, although I think it's very pretty. Uh, I think maybe moving it to like the eyeglass just just so that I'm not kind of stepping in territory that I don't understand uh, and and kind of like create implications that I didn't intend to. Um, so and again, I'm not like creating this with any kind of like specific, you know, like, oh, I want it to be this or that. Um, I just would like not all old white men as characters. And, you know, I, I think we're kind of creating a good cast, so. We're, we're getting there. Yeah. All right. Just want to get these glasses in here because I think they actually like create some interest to the character's design. And I, I don't know, I'm a weirdo, but I actually just quite enjoy the kind of librarian bridge kind of glasses. Um, it's just something I, I, I find as a fun character trait is just kind of like having the reading glasses just kind of like lower on the nose. Uh, this should probably go up further though because
Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I, I don't want to make it into a thing at all, right? Um, and if it's going to make people uncomfortable, then, you know, it's not not ideal. But yeah, it's just... Well, that's just kind of a thing that we tend to do as humans, is create a lot of associations and interpretations, so stuff to be considerate of, obviously. I definitely need to change the expression still. She's kind of not quite got that smugness that I think she deserves. chains. I mean, I'm thinking, would it be useful to kind of give her more brow?
turn in this eye a little. Or both of them to the right, just the hair. already holy cow time just flew by but I suppose that's what happens when you're just kind of like futzing around with a sketch and just going back and forth and back and forth on on a detail are managing to do what I was hoping they would. I almost wonder if they should be like propped up on the top of her head now. I think that might actually look kind of neat. Ooh, that maybe it's not. Um, let's duplicate this layer in case I want to go back to it. Yeah, when I was kind of looking up like face jewelry because I actually really think that's quite a lovely way to kind of you know have a style um, I, I saw this kind of piercing that I've never seen before and I thought it was really neat it's like over the bridge of the nose it starts here goes here and it's like a chain Quite lovely. Uh, looks weird with that shadow there, though. <laughs> it's like it's digging into the skin more than it should be. Uh, also, that angle is weird now. I think that needs to be more on, like, the sides. Maybe I get rid of that for now. All right, we're going to go on lunch real soon. I just want to try to get this in a certain state. suppose that an element is I am an uneducated white guy trying to kind of like create good representation in, in the game I, I care deeply about. So uh, I just really don't want to do uncool appropriation and characterization and stuff that is just, you know dumb because um, I think it's really important to kind of just be you know sensitive to kind of other cultures and respectful uh, and so I definitely would like to be informed if I'm doing faux pas uh, and accountable to that as well. So it does no good if I just pretend that 
you know, I'm not a part of a problem, right? So, by all means, let me know if I'm kind of being a dummy. Um, I was looking for I know you want me to go on lunch. Okay. All right. I just really want to get those like glasses on top of the head. I don't know why. Just like that's cool. Yeah. Okay. It didn't quite work as well as I thought it would. <laughs> we'll figure it out. As I said, we're going to be back and forth on a lot of details today. That is just the nature of trying to do portraiture live. <laughs> uh, especially if I don't have like a character I'm referencing. That's another thing is like often um, you want to use as much reference as you can. And I am, I am like off on my other monitor, I just kind of have like a whole bunch of images that I'm just kind of scrolling through and just trying to like capture, I don't know, a whimsical character, but yeah, it's not, it's not quite where it could get to. Let's take a look on the sandwich board and then we'll go on lunch. Um, yeah, she's still kind of staring off into, like, oblivion, I suppose. And I almost wonder if it'll look better if she's flipped, too. Just because when I first sketched it up, um, I had the idea that the King's Reward was, like, less wide. Uh, and, yeah, that might actually be a better angle for her to be kind of posed, just to kind of work with the background here. So we'll, we'll definitely consider that. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. Give this a save. That's saved as well. We're going to go on lunch. Um, and that'll be about 54 minutes long. I'll put up a timer so you know when I'm back. I'll be back at 2. Um, but I will actually put up the exported time lapse. Um, so hopefully you're all enjoying this. I know this is a bit different from my usual streams. Uh, and uh, yeah, there's something about her face there that I just don't quite have yet. So hopefully I'll figure that out after a short break. Um, yeah, we'll get there. We'll get there. It might it might take a little bit longer, but we'll get there. <laughs> Should be interesting. Okay. I'll be back.
Hello. And we are back. All right, lunch was had. We got a little bit of a moment to kind of like step back. Um, and I was looking at the original sketch and something stood out to me for kind of like what I feel like was kind of, here, let me see if I can just pull up. So looking at the original sketch, this has a certain level of whimsy that the current version doesn't capture right now. Um, and what I think it is is actually the outfit. Um, and what I realized is when I kind of sketched this up, it created like a chainmail coif kind of look, which fits with the whole kind of like King's kind of, um, uh, you know, just entourage. Um, and so I want to try and like give her more of that knightly kind of like King's vestments kind of vibe and uh, I realized that kind of what I was doing for the outfit wasn't really reflecting kind of like any of that kind of uh, design sense and so I want to kind of go back to the drawing board on that and kind of capture more of this like chainmail coif look and like maybe give her armament um, and I think that would actually like give her that element of um, just kind of like whimsy that's currently missing from the character that that I think would really be a lot of fun and just kind of make it feel more innocent. Um, so what I'll do is I'm actually going to change the outfit quite a bit. Um, and right now, I think that will, because like, I don't know, it just, it didn't feel like, um, like the original sketch so much, and I think that that is something that resonated with it. So what I want to try and do is kind of like, see if I can create a little more of that idea. Uh, so let's see. I can actually try to make it like a chainmail triangles. But like the cool thing is, you could have different colored metals. So she could have a very decorated. Um, set of chainmail like I'm thinking like the links themselves could be like patterns of colors and, and make that very elegant and pretty. Um, so that is definitely something to try out. Uh, I like her wearing glasses but now I have an idea for um, how the the hood would work for this and I actually think that. Let's put this as a pop. So the original sketch has more of this like crown kind of uh, thing going, and I actually think that that had something. Um, and I didn't know what it was. I couldn't quite like figure out how to integrate that. I didn't want it to be like a crown. Um, but what I actually think could work is like I like the idea of this kind of chainmail coif, and right now the chainmail is going behind the ear, which isn't traditionally how chainmail goes. Usually it kind of covers as much of the face as it can. But I feel like as this messenger who goes around greeting people, having the ears kind of like available and not like sh 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 covered in like noisy chainmail would actually be appropriate. Um, so what I think is if she has this kind of like banded helmet and the chainmail kind of links from the back and kind of comes forward and creates that that look um, <clears throat> so 
that would be an interesting way to kind of create this whimsy of an outfit that fits the strange kind of knights of the you know the kingdom vibe um, <clears throat> So, and I think we can kind of get a bit of this crown motif still. But I also like the idea of, um, the, it was suggested on the previous stream <clears throat> to have um, Hermes wings because the character being like a messenger, that's kind of neat. Yeah, also the the actual like silhouette of the character was getting very like lumpy and bulky and I feel like that wasn't quite the right direction for for her aesthetic um, so I'll have the the back ear also kind of sticking out I think um, So for the helmet itself, we could try and kind of create like I kind of like the idea of it like being a bit winged or something like that. Kind of capturing like the Hermes messenger vibe or something. I don't know, I'm just trying to think of like what would feel more kind of like mouse hunt universe in terms of the outfit because right now it just doesn't really kind of feel like it's going for that. So I feel like her being armored up because I mean she's chasing you down in like some pretty dangerous territory finding you to be like here sign this and get gold um, so she's probably pretty tough but uh let's see like it could be a multi-layered helmet with like Cool crest or something like that, and and this could be like an area where we show off more of like the royal symbols or something like that. something a little more kind of like whimsical and unique. Like it could be like a knight's helmet with the, the like choo 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 kind of style. I um, forget what those are called. Yeah, the rewarded king's crowns. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> Maybe. itself. How should that look? It's a tough one. It's a bit of a tough one. All right. So if that goes behind the ear, I actually need it to kind of come back quite a bit. I also think that I like the weight of it kind of pulled down more. And although it's not as good for defense, having kind of like the 
neck kind of a little more exposed feels a bit more heavy chain mail esque and yeah i think i think that we could do some like very fine lovely details on the actual links themselves um, and then uh The helmet is a bit undesigned thus far. I kind of like the actual crown shape that it did have before. So let's turn the sketch on again. See if we can kind of use that shape language. So it's like not actually a crown, but it's kind of symbolized a crown. That kind of seems like something a royal messenger could could rock. Um, hmm. So this kind of like crest here, which kind of like creates more of that crown look, could actually be that that like panel that kind of swivels down. Clear, but yeah, kind of creating this like knights kind of. Um,
this at least feels more like mouse hunt fantasy kind of universe. There you go, and I think these kinds of uh, slats feel a little more kind of like, oh yeah, that's like a knight's helmet. I guess I should just kind of block that with a sail and then this. Yeah, I think we'll get like gold trim and stuff on it as well. Um, yeah, it could have more kind of shape to it as well. I think I'll like put it up way higher too actually. Um, it is kind of weird with the ear sticking out so much considering what the helmet is supposed to protect but oh, I kind of want to make that work. this up to you.
Yeah, I'm going for a knightly angle, kind of. The ears covered is probably more appropriate if we're getting a helmet, but I don't know. kind of want it to be its own thing, but maybe more like a, a helmet of a, t a tiara kind of helmet. I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Or even just chainmail. Kind of looked nice. I'll start with just like the chain mail and then okay, that goes behind, that's fine. Yeah, we'll start with chain mail and then see if we can kind of layer uh, more vestments on top. like that's more the direction that I want it to be. Um, all right, and then an idea could be like there being um, like links of the chainmail that are kind of a different metal. Uh, it's going to be on a different layer. to just hand draw them. Here's your rolling pin.
probably have to do without all the earrings if we're doing that. Just kind of too much overlap. Yeah, I mean, the, the ear is kind of not being covered by chainmail is a bit odd, isn't it? Alright. I suppose it would make more sense if you're wearing chainmail. But, I don't know, I just kind of... Let's see, let's see. Well, yeah, no, I actually do have reference of people wearing chainmail, and it's like <laughs> right up there on their face. So I am definitely taking liberties with chainmail. Um, it's kind of more like, instead of it kind of coiffing over the head, I actually kind of want it to like go back to the base of the helmet, which isn't ideal for like armament, right? Um, but for this design, it was kind of. I thought looks neat. Um, so let me mess with that, I guess. So instead of that, I can go back down here below the face. wonder if she should just have like the hood down. Could be kind of cool. Well, let's we'll see if I can get the the weird kind of royal messenger kind of whimsical armament to to work. Mesent designs are not 
particularly practical. A lot of concern in that face. <laughs> Not quite the confidence I was uh, wanting her to imbue. We'll get there. Alright, let's give it a flip, see how weird that is. Yeah, it's not the worst.
So I think if we make the helmet cooler, <laughs> uh, that could be good. I'm not, I'm not digging the helmet yet. Feels very bulky. I don't know, maybe, maybe it is more of a tiara that I want it to be. Like, hood back could look good too. the arms and stuff I need to like figure out if her anatomy is like super broken or not. Like yeah. I think we could drop the shoulder quite a bit. Um, no, maybe not. This is being weighed down by that satchel and like could also give her pauldrons, which would look neat add to that nightly vibe. Um, draped back is actually a potentially cool design. Let me try that. Okay, actually, suddenly, she's like, got cute short hair, and I'm digging that. Yeah, all right. All right, so, this...
Okay, okay, okay. I just need to swap some layers around. We're starting to get there. Okay, sorry.
Yeah, yeah, giving some gray and stuff. I think that'd be nice. Uh, also, I think actually making her eyes smaller will will help her kind of feel a little older. She definitely has a lot more of a kind of strength to her than she did before. Yeah, that's a good suggestion. I like that. Um, let's see. it in and it'll feel a little more slender. I think I'll bring the cheek in as well. That matter that back ear. I just gotta, I think I gotta shrink her eyes a little more still, but I'm actually starting to feel like this character is beginning to form.
yeah, subtlety is key, I think, when it comes to like really nice details to add. All right, so I think that, um, yeah, okay, I want to shrink her eyes. And let's do a save. There's a liquify tool that I haven't tried out. Um, pinch. And I wonder. Whoa. Kind of neat. Got to bring these in. soften her jaw just a hair more. some of the Drop that ear too high.
eyes are still. Maybe it's the pupils that are too big. Too much shock. Um, so let's see. I actually made these bigger. That might help with that. Generally, our eye lids like to kind of get to the edge of an iris. be the top lid or bottom lid. So Um, let's give this a flip. Uh, let's see. I'm 
We'll save it. I'm also gonna take a quick bio break for like two minutes. You ready? Okay, back. All right. Uh, let's see. So I think I do want to soften the face just a little more. Um, just over here. This year is like way too low. Hey Charlie. Or is it the other ear that's way too high? This ear might be too high. Hmm.
<laughs> it's definitely changed a lot over over the day, hasn't it? But honestly, that's always how portraiture goes for me. Like, it it's I guess kind of like a, <laughs> how a sculptor works, where well, some sculptors I guess, but where it's just like okay, they just kind of let the stone speak to them, and uh, that's kind of how I have to work with portraiture. Where unless I'm like working off a reference and creating a specific person. I kind of need to figure it out as I go and just let it change. Um, but yeah, hopefully it's a good evolution for people. <laughs> yeah, time lapse should be interesting for this one. I do think that I want her facing to the right, so I'm just gonna grab this whole thing and go with it. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> so these need to be linked before I do that flip. There we go. Also, I can change the highlights to hello. Oh, yeah, apply that transformation. Um, I'll just redo the highlights.
little bit too much kind of worry and concern in the face, I think. I think I could soften the eyes a bit more. Um, or is that going to be more concern if I raise... There we go. Just kind of like, okay. Just staring off past you. Here, I don't really care, but sign this, please. kind of feel like talking to us with the eyes positioned like that. Yeah, I'm going to be putting her on the left side of the King's Reward box. Oh, you can mess around with the hair. I feel like she is looking... Maybe this eye needs to come in just a hair.
just be a little too dark under the neck. Hmm. Yeah, it's still going. Just like that's how portraiture goes for me. It's just tiny tweaks that just go and go. Um, I don't know. It's evolved a lot though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I I think that the the hair is quite fun and cute. strong it is.
needed that cut, I think. She's rocking the hair. Is it because it's like a shortcut? I think it's pretty cute on her.
big in that. Um, I'm going to see how this looks on the sandwich board. Yeah, so right now she seems too concerned, like really worried, like please, you really need to take this. Also the, uh, the arm and stuff is going to have to be adjusted, but that's also because this clipping mask was set up for her facing the other direction, so we'll tweak that. Um, just throw it out for now. Yeah, that definitely needs to be tweaked there um, yeah okay so her face is just not as soft um, a little too worried yeah I think the lips at this point could be A little more kind of smiling. That's looking a lot more confident. The strong brow.
just a little bit of a smirk. Dimples are kind of cute. Just kind of need to get them in the right spot. Yeah, just looking a little more confident and self assured. Was missing. Get a little flip. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm I'm getting more and more happy with where 
I'm just getting to. Like, it's it's a difficult challenge because, okay, you're gonna see her a lot <laughs> with kings or lords, so, you know, I want her to be interesting to look at and like friendly and kind of like oh hello, um, and like I still want it to fit in the mouse hunt kind of like space, so yeah, because like, let's see, okay, I'm gonna save her. And then I should pull up Big Jack. So here we have Big Jack. And like Larry is a very old one. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> Do I even have like. An original image of Larry, or are these all modified? I have like, okay, there we go. Cowboy hat, Larry. But like, you know, it's it's changed over time. Uh, so you know, like, I don't want her to feel too out of place with kind of like the design aesthetic. Um, so I'm wondering if I should try and kind of like give her a little more kind of simplified features um, and more kind of cartoony somehow. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't know what cartoony. Um, I guess simplified, but like, I don't know, like Big Jack is, is pretty detail oriented. Um, I guess it's just there's more kind of like shape language and stuff like the hair and, and just kind of like uh, the features being like very pronounced and like Larry is kind of like spindly. Um, I don't know, I guess Anita is kind of like sturdy and angular now, um, which I quite enjoy. I do kind of want to prop the reading glasses up in her hair now. Yeah, scholarly, exactly. Mm hmm Which I think reading glasses in the hair might be good for. So I can try and bring those back. I just kind of don't want them to look too like modern glasses, but that's not hard to come up with, like a different design. The scholarly star, exactly. Yeah. I know Charlie. Charlie has been obsessed with being on my lap. Yeah, exactly.
click the mask on that. Look at our annotation, and then we can I think I also want to do more of the nightly get up. Um, setting up the actual like armor and stuff like that. Like pauldrons. I think that could look nice, but let's see. Ooh, I could bring the ear back. Hmm. I mean those are also pretty cute. Hmm. Mm hmm. Could lower the coif down a bit more too, I think. Because if it's like just down on the shoulders, I think the weight of it might pull it down more. So we could try that out too. Um, but I, I like it kind of being bulky and kind of like bunched up. Um, okay, so the glasses and the hair is nice. <laughs> hey, why do you want this scroll? Come on. You might as well just fill it out. I won't leave until you do.
Thank you very much, Margaret. I appreciate that. And yeah, I, I as well appreciate all the input. But at the end of the day, I'm just kind of letting her speak for herself. I mean, I definitely, like, set out to create a different looking character, but that's just how it goes with when I'm illustrating. I don't really know what the end it's going to look like, and I just kind of, like, go with whatever direction it wants to take me in. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that message. That's lovely. Yeah. All right. OK, so her outfit, I think, could have more fun design elements to it. So what I'm going to do is I will create a new layer and just see if we can sketch out more of that kind of, because I mean, we're coming up on four o'clock and I, I'm like, I guess we're spending the whole day and some probably working on her. Um, but I, I like the idea that there is kind of like some nightly pauldrons. You know? Can get the like the chainmail folk going here, and like it'd be nice if there's like some kind of like regal crest. Something like that. Um, actually. We should probably try and use like the shield, you know. have the arm come out a bit more. I don't want it to like hang down too like so for the the sandwich board I want it to kind of like drape over it but not like hanging off of it way below where it's gonna like block buttons or anything. Just enough overlap that it like you notice it but so it'll just give it more kind of like interesting dimension. Have some buckles and stuff. I do kind of like her having 
still like puffy sleeves under all of this though. Yeah. So like, kind of like passing it more towards us with the scroll. Yeah, that might be a good way to pose it. Yeah, do you want this or here, take it? Yeah, I think, that, I think that's a good point. It should probably be much more of a like handing it to you. Uh, so I can definitely workshop that. And then we'll have the the satchel like up on top of the pauldron. Yeah, handing it out more so. Okay. Yeah, I can try and figure that out. It's a bit of a tricky pose. Um, all right, so we'll have that. We'll cut that out. And back to the sketch. So let's see. Drawing hands is a challenge, and this is no exception. So let's see. Add the knuckle more forward. Kind of tilted towards us. I guess the arm itself might need to move down. paper towel for for coffee and or sorry like my my tea and bagels all right so if it's like I'll just do this hand well it's easier if it's this hand because then it's matching so like it could be like that kind of coming in more okay Charlie Okay. 
crosses over the chest a bit more. Mm, not quite. Rotate it. Kind of hard to see with just a mushy sketch, right? Yeah, yeah. This one's a tough one. Not gonna, not gonna say this was an easy stream. It's definitely been a tough one. But I would say it's been pretty satisfying. A good challenge is always. Fun. Well, okay, maybe not always, but it was it was a rough start, I would say. But I figured, you know, because it always happens that way. Uh, eventually, I would kind of like find the character, and then it might not be so bad. Definitely a bit of a tougher one today. Okay, so yeah. Oh, well, that's what I hope the streams, like the art streams, are. Is is like you get to kind of see the evolution of it um, and get to kind of participate in like how it's shaped. Okay, so I do want to do the double scroll. I was thinking like, oh, it could have like a seal on it, right? To kind of make it more royal or something like that. But I was wondering if maybe because it could be used for like different kinds of media. Um, like it could be a news post, it could be other things like I don't know if it'll always be like a royal decree kind of thing you know so I don't know if we want the king's seal or something on it um, but I think it'd be fine okay so then I should block it in. Flip it so it's a little more related. <laughs> okay, so the fingers curled around is kind of a nice way to do this. Okay, and then the thumb kind of up and over. Yeah. Hey, Charlie. She is just back and forth, just keeps coming back to my lap. 
Okay, girl, okay. I think the silhouette of this is kind of throwing off how that could end up looking, right? the back, save it. I'm just curious to see how it looks on the sandwich board. Okay. Yeah. That's actually not so bad. I like how it kind of will pop out. And actually, I think I have room to kind of extend the arm to the right more. Um, let's see, there should be a button. It's not exactly how it'll line up, but I think I have a bit, bit of room to kind of like extend that out and fix that silhouette will read better if I have the arm come out more. Um, so I might just move everything over to the left. Oh, right. So the nice thing about Clip Studio, this is another thing that it does that Photoshop can't, is you can make a selection across multiple layers and move them all at once. So I can move that hand over here. I guess actually, no, I'll keep the sketch. Trying to like see it out of the corner of my eye. See if that silhouette reads all right. I guess if it's flattened out more, it feels more like it's being kind of handed off. Because it's like when you're handing something off, you would kind of like place it flat into the other person's hand, right? So it, it kind of like coming forward is it being handed off, right? So rotating it that way makes a lot of sense. That feels a lot more just kind of like, here you go. Yeah, all right, cool. Um, and then this sketch needs to be tweaked. That 
so does the silhouette. Nice puffy sleeves going. That's what she always wanted. Yeah, when inventing fashion from another universe, why not just have fun with it? Right? Yeah, okay. That feels a lot more like she's handing us this scroll case. Now, the thing that I'm concerned about, <laughs> and I need to like be better at this, is like she looks great up close. Right? Lots of nice details. But like I really do need to be realistic about how big she will be upon viewing, and here, hmm. Not quite reading, like at all. So that's bad. I know this. Silly me. Always getting caught up in detail. Alright. Well. Okay, so I think technically that's the size that she's supposed to be seen at. That is very... Well, no, wait, 
That does feel too small. Um, um, I can just disarm my cheese and check. Seems about the relevant size. Yeesh. All right. Uh, classic Jacob. <laughs> Detail is good, the devil is there. <laughs> Excellent. Margaret, you're fun. Um, yeah, so I think that I might need to try and position some elements so that I can make her fill the space a bit better. In which case, um, to be like super distracting although it's going to be I suppose if she is flipped not the canvas but her she could be like holding it off the side that's not so bad yeah all right well shucks What would this look like if I exported it? Do, 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 do. So is that going to be 25%? Or did that save too? Save too. <laughs> oh, I do know. Pixels do some weird things. Doesn't look quite as clean and good when it's kind of crushed down and. Yeah. Alright. Well, I know better than that. Get too caught up in the fun details. I like her design a lot, though. But she is going to need to read at that exact size kind of the most important thing, considering how frequently she'll show up. This is making me want all the more to uh, bring Gremplin as the King's Reward character, specifically. Uh, and that actually still seems like a really good idea. Because, like, news and stuff like that I could have her scaled up better and I like that um, but Gramplum would work as a smaller scale yeah because if you go to like oh, I gotta actually solve my king's reward all right Here's a way to test this. Post that at size. There we go. It's not 
shrunk or, or what not. Um, duplicate. It's just like kind of weird. There's like the mouth smear and stuff, and looks like a bloody nose. I don't know. Uh, whereas, let's see, like Grand Flim. Um, where are you? There you are, buddy. So I feel like Gramflim is going to read better at that small size. And then when you actually have a news post, it's a much larger image, right? So we have Actually appreciate the image. Mm hmm. What color is Grand Flum? Like purple and green. I should probably have drawn the character on this file at size, right? Instead of just making it super high res. Well, again, like, I did want it super high res for a lot of reasons. Yeah, just in the end, I'm kind of like, hey, it's not going to read. That's a concern. Kind of important. creepy cute creatures or something I do quite a bit so this one's not a difficult foray
those out. Put those above the skull. <laughs> yeah so like i don't know if it's going to happen but like we'll be probably tweaking the king's reward someday and maybe even getting rid of it um so like the silly annoying character kind of just existing for it as it's kind of this annoying thing um I think it works, personally. And when I was discussing the potential of these characters, there was definitely a lot of people being on board with Gremflim being kind of like the King's Reward character, and then Anitha being like for news posts and, and stuff that is a little more kind of like cool and exciting. So, I guess it works. And this way we get more characters, which I also like. I did not expect this to be a possibility. I just kind of forgot that I should probably make the uh, detail read at resolution. So, oops. Usually better about that. And like, I could do it, but I also like the excuse to create Gramplum. So I'm not going to complain. You know? I feel like I'm going a little too Lilo and Stitch with this suddenly. 
like realizing what the coloring looks like. Yeah, it's pretty. Uh, I mean, it's definitely not a copy of it at all, but. Yeah, dragonfly colors, I like that. I like that idea. It's a good thing I checked. Um, Go more green. Yeah, only able to hold one scroll at a time. Yeah, he's busy. Gramplum, very busy. That's just the way they like it. And feeling too stitch like, so gotta, gotta stop that. <laughs> outlined in magic.
Yeah, it just blinks back and forth all the time. Grabs a single scroll, teleports to a hunter. Although this creature is Chaos Incarnate, I don't want it to be too chaotic to look at. Absolutely crushing the scroll. Try, try to look more natural. Just relax, okay? You can even get like a magic poof behind the character.
Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I think the the funner, more ridiculous vibe is pretty good for the King's Reward character. A little lighthearted and silly. We're coming up on five o'clock, so Ooh, I think I'm gonna have to call it. But I had a lot of fun today, although it was quite a challenge. But I enjoyed it, um, and I like I like any of that. Turned out nice, but again, the detail levels are just like not gonna read. At like tiny, <laughs> like too small, unfortunately. Um, and I, I should have known better. But this size, even this size, will work for like the news post. Um, yeah, this size basically is kind of like the ideal, I think. Um, Uh, yeah, I think I think uh, Gremplum will be pretty perfect for a King's Reward, and I won't go too crazy on details either.
Yeah. Yeah, even incredibly, like, that doesn't read, but they're definitely not that small. That does read actually decently, at least on my screen. Um, might look a bit different on, on the screen itself, but that'll read well. Um, and I can even scale Gremplum up uh, and still have it fit. All right. So, feeling good about that. Yeah. We're doing both. It's happening. Okay. With that, I'm going to save. Oh. Save these both. And I'm going to call it. <laughs> it was a long one. But it was interesting. It was good. Oh, she definitely changed quite a bit, though. Pull up the original sketch. So, different, but not too different. I think it's still kind of like a similar character. Just kind of changed a lot of the outfit. <clears throat> Which I think works because the way that I was illustrating it, it like wasn't capturing the mouse hunt style kind of garb that I think would be more whimsical. Um, even though the sketch has that in it. Uh, the painting earlier was not. Um, so I suppose we could do a time lapse and witness today's just what it was. <laughs> uh, so we'll get that going. Uh, but yeah, I hope, uh, oh, need to go make a tea. Oh, drained after that. But it was good. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you again for hanging out and being a part of this creation and uh yeah it was interesting and challenging but but rewarding uh and uh yeah i hope other hunters enjoy the character when she makes her way into the kingdom at some point so no guarantee that it's like happening immediately at all same with Gramplum. um but it's stuff to kind of like try to figure out. And and looking at where she ended up, obviously she's not done. Uh, the outfit needs to be kind of rendered out and, and then um, I'll probably make an actual like news post panel for her and, and stuff like that. Uh, so still work to be done, but it's okay. This one's like a, thankfully we, we have like had a light week um, in terms of kind of like uh, the art side of things. So this was a good opportunity to, to like work on this and hopefully I'll be able to kind of like keep working on it. Um, but yeah. Yeah. I'm glad you decided to stick around, but don't, don't lose sleep on my behalf. But thank you. And yeah, everybody have a good weekend. Definitely. Oh, it's a bit of a long time lapse. Oh boy. Sorry, I am suddenly very yawn full. Yeah. Yeah, I'll move her over so we can see all the variations. Yeah, the um the kind of helmet on top was kinda of cool, but like I couldn't quite get that sitting how I wanted it to. Thank you, Diamond. You as well for the weekend and all. Yeah, I need to remember that like certain elements, like HUD elements, need to be proportional in design, uh, which I generally know know to do that. But yeah, I was kind of treating it more like um, a character illustration as opposed to a head element. Uh, but again, if I designed her for where she would go on the King's Reward, um, I feel like 
well, it would probably work well for the news post still, but I got to add more detail this way. <laughs> and we have two characters, so that's that's good. Um, I guess my my slight concern would be um, people who don't get to see Glamphrom. Um, Gram, Gram Flum, um, because they don't get King's Rewards on mobile, uh, but as I said, even if we phase out King's Rewards, I actually have an idea of where I could put Gram Flum in the future, so we'll see, but that's a ways away. Yeah, getting close to the end of the time lapse. in a day. Alright. Oh, oh goodness. Well. Just gotta move my hand. Here you go. Enjoy the scroll. And there we have it. Alright. Well. I hope you all have a awesome weekend. Uh, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and I shall see you on my next stream, probably in two weeks. But until then, I'll catch you later. Okay. Bye.